Hey, Collider fans, Solo, a Star Wars story is going to be screening at Cannes. We're going to talk about it next. All right, Riley, you are the noted Star Wars person on this panel, this desk right now. You hear, so you're wearing the shirt. I'm wearing a shirt for this. I knew this news was going to break. It means something. And you, so you hear Solo, a Star Wars story is, yeah. is going to be premiering 10 days before its premiere on May 15th over at Cannes, usually reserved for uh, films that are going to be like Oscar nominated films. You see this happening. Now, this happened twice before yep. with two of the other ones. We had uh, we had Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, both in 2002, 2005, respectively, premiered at Cannes. Now, what does this tell you about the film? Uh, it tells me good things, yeah. actually. Uh, I was very tickled pink. <laughs> sure. Ah. Tickled pink. Sure. To see that this was going to debut. We just got done on Jedi Council talking about how Ron Howard is feverishly working on a final yes. cut, VFX, scoring, everything. And a lot of people push back and say, wow, that's pretty, That's that seems too short of time or mm -hmm. or it's it's god we're right up against that release window and people are like oh it's gonna suck it's not gonna work yeah. and it's like no this is filmmaking that's filmmaking doesn't matter if it was you know gonna debut in a week or yep. debut in a month it, th this is filmmaking so but by saying you're gonna premiere it out of competition yeah out of competition at can is great yeah. it's great it's gonna build buzz it's a one of the most prestigious film festivals in the world mm -hmm to put a Star Wars movie there where the prequels have been before. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, say what you will about the prequels, but those didn't land critically when they did come out soon after. Yeah. So this just gives me a good sign that we have a good movie in Han Solo. Yeah, it's an interesting point you bring up, Riley, because uh, Rogue One, uh, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, all premiered in LA. Yeah. This is this yeah. is going to premiere at Cannes. I mean, like I said before, you reserve for some higher fare to see it premiering here. I think speaks well of the film. Yeah. In fact, that Ron Howard, you mentioned Ron Howard, he said, the edit is locked, the score done, right on schedule. Hope you check Solo out. I hope you have fun, or find out uh, and find it fun, which yeah. is a great response from Ron Howard. It's as much as we want to scream as Star Wars fans that the sky is falling around this movie. Ron Howard has been a stabilizing force with this whole thing. He had nothing to do with finding the campaign for those posters that were supposedly doctored. Right. He, he came in, took over for Lord and Miller, kind of righted the ship. We heard the reports last week about that unnamed actor who was on set for both, saying that it was a crazy set with Lord and Miller and a more relaxed, more professional set with Ron Howard. Who knows if that's going to wield us a good film, but I think it speaks volumes that they're willing to premiere this thing 10 days before its actual release. But what but I do want to ask you one thing. Now, with Infinity War, they don't want anything getting out, so they're yeah. releasing it like they're previewing it three days before it actually releases. Um, what's your feeling about this being 10 days? But like, do you think Disney doesn't care about spoilers as much? It, it might, you know what? Maybe, you know, we know Han Solo is not going to die. Right. So, I mean, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> You know, Not with this, this one, with yeah. this, I, I think with Solo, a Star Wars story, we're getting a a swashbuckling adventure. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. You're not going to reveal Ray's parents in this. You're right. not going to say who Sh Snoke is in this. You know, the Skywalker saga. You know, JJ introduced Force Awakens and did, you know, put in some mystery boxes mm -hmm. that then has led to a, a sort of, sort of negative fallout in the Last Jedi because yeah. we didn't. All our speculation was wrong. With this, I don't think we have much speculation going in. I don't think there's going to be monumental spoilers in right, this. Right. I think the most spoilers can get is like maybe Boba Fett shows up and somebody sure. just drops it in Twitter. I was at Cannes and Boba Fett's in there. And Job right. of the Hut. That might be some spoilers to look out for, mm -hmm. but I think that Lucasfilm's not necessarily worried about it right now, about spoilers. I think they want to put their best foot forward, yeah. release this movie, and by doing it, it can gives it some prestige. So you don't think we're going to get like an old Han Solo, maybe a sneaky Harrison Ford cameo as old Han Solo remembering this whole thing. You don't think we're going to get that slid in there? I, I, I He's don't, done with it completely. Well, I mean, I know he was on set. He was on set. And I know he did coach or at least talk to Alden about the character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it would be a new precedent set because I've never seen, you know, an older character sure. from a movie sure. in a Star Wars movie then reflect and yeah. then go back. I personally like that video they did where it's like it was Kylo Ren killing Han and then yeah. it freezes and goes, you might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> a little comedy <laughs> angle to that, but I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah. Um, if they do, 
I'd be pre pleasantly surprised. I do want to give credit to Deadline and, of course, to Jeff Snyder over the tracking board. He's the one that retweeted this thing, caught all our attention, and, of course, we went and found the source. But mm. this is something interesting I read. However, Disney has made a stronger push to appeal to foreign markets and regularly releases them earlier overseas. So the timing of the festival and the planned release date may offer the studio a unique marketing opportunity. So there's more yeah. going on here than just previewing the film. And the Disney has not confirmed this will be the official premiere, mm. but I wouldn't be surprised. And why would you screen it again and not make it a premiere? It's like you said, uh, right, it's a very prestigious film festival. All right, what do you guys think about this new solo Star Wars movie? It's going to be seen 10 days before it comes out. Do you think this bodes well? Does this calm you down a little bit as a Star Wars fan and may give you some hope, maybe a new hope, that this will be a uh. good film? See what it did there? All right, let us know in the comments section below. Let us know what Riley had to say, what I had to say. What do you thought about that in the comments section as well below? Like and share this video on your social media and keep subscribing to Collider Video. Keep watching us here for more news just like this.